guys welcome back to my channel limitless b w l so today i have a video on a question that i get asked all the time and obviously by the title you guys already know what it's on but it is a video on how to rock a nude lipstick no matter what shade or depth of nude it is i do have four tips in this video for you guys and i feel like all four of them are so important i even have kind of a life hack and at the end i will be showing you guys kind of three different variations of nudes and how it looks on my complexion saying that i do have kind of like a lookbook lip swatch video on kind of my current favorite nudes and i will link that down below for you guys for anyone who is interested and another side note is um I actually filmed the video wearing a lip gloss because I filmed another video and I just filmed it right after that. But yeah, that's why my lipstick will look a little bit different when the actual video is happening. But saying that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope it's helpful for you guys. This is a little bit more so helpful for women of color just because it's super hard, I find, for women from like medium to darker skin tones to really rock a nude lipstick because sometimes they just don't know the exact tips and tricks to get it done and these tips definitely go for any lipstick in general as well but we're just focusing a little bit more on nudes in this video and saying that it's not only for women of color anyone can use these tricks and it's gonna work perfectly for you so yeah let's get straight into the video and i hope you guys enjoy it if you do please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and turn on your post notifications because I will be posting at least three times a week from now on. So let's get straight into it. The first tip I have for you guys to rock a nude lipstick, and of course this applies to kind of like all shades as well, but we're just targeting this video more towards nude lipsticks. But the first thing is exfoliating your lips. Now that is so important because that's what's going to give you that clean look on your lips. One that you can purchased the store that I really really love is this one this bite and beauty one basically this is their whipped cherry one it's a fruit scrub all fresh also has a really good one and I think that one is like honey and brown sugar I'm not too sure those two I really really love and it's really important for you to exfoliate your lips because it gets rid of all the dead skin especially with a nude lipstick your, your lips can look a little bit more drier it's really important to exfoliate your lips so let's go on to the next few things that are going to make the biggest difference so if you have been on my channel for any amount of time you already probably know that this is like my number one tip in terms of makeup in general and that is color correcting color correcting is going to be one of the biggest tips i can give you in terms of making your nude lipstick look as good as possible now if color correcting basically is applying a color to diminish the um, darkness you have around your eyes and some women of course have redness around their lips as well for that you would use a orange so for that you would use a green for women of color usually we have more of a darker pigmentation and if we don't color correct a lot of the times this area can look really great for us because naturally we just have a lot of pigmentation there of course this doesn't apply to all women but it definitely applies to a large amount of women of color we have a lot of pigmentation here so saying that color correcting is going to be your best friend because applying a light lipstick on your lip is going to make that area look way more gray than it would even if you were just to put a foundation and you see a little bit of grayness as soon as you apply that light lipstick it's gonna look super duper duper great because you're just gonna bring out all the ashiness in your skin so color correcting is gonna be your best friend super easy to do if you guys have any questions regarding it please let me know i can make a whole video on color correcting but you can watch really any of my makeup tutorials and see how it's done but basically this is my favorite one this is this i will show you guys a close-up but it's like demolished as you can see this is my favorite one this is the smashbox orange color corrector i absolutely love it i know there's really affordable ones like the la girl and all that good stuff as well but this is so important and it also makes the area look super clean so moving on to the next tip which is probably the biggest tip out of all of i'm gonna say that for all of these these actually all four are like really big tips so let's move on to the next one so next we have lip liners now this is so important for women of color i think lip liners are kind of important for like all women to be honest to wear a nude lipstick because that's what's going to really frame your lip and make it not look so washed out make it not look like your lips are just like blended into your skin and like 
not existed. You know what I mean? So a lip liner is going to be your best, best friend. And that too, if you are a woman of color and you don't own a brown lip liner in your life, what are you doing? What are you doing? You need to get yourself a brown lip liner. This is going to be your best friend. I wear brown lip liners with every lip color. Name it blue, purple, red, nudes, pinks, everything. A brown lip liner, you guys need it. Now, I have lots of brown lip liners I love. Uh, I finished all of them. So the only one I have currently is my MAC Chestnut. I'll list a bunch of them that I love down below in the description box for you guys. So you guys can take a look. A brown lip liner is going to be your best friend and the way you want to apply it is just simply trace around your lip now this is where the next part comes i personally like love to fill in the corners of my lip on all corners and then go ahead and apply a liquid lipstick on top or a lipstick whatever it may be because that makes my lips look a little bit more full a little bit more pouty a little bit more framed i just love the way that looks and it kind of gives a tiny bit of an ombre effect but it really depends on the color you will be using so the lighter it is the more of an ombre effect it will give and the darker it is the less because of course the brown will kind of just blend right into it so saying that you don't have to do it i just personally love the look of it and i feel like it makes my lips look really full by doing that so that's just a contouring method for your lip liner but another way you could do it is just simply by lining it and going ahead and applying your nude lipstick but the only thing with this is that if it's a super light shade it won't look as great for the lighter the shade is the more brown you want to put on your lip so that is just a tip for me to use you don't have to fill the whole thing in because it's going to really change the color of the shade but the lighter it is the more you put and the darker it is the less you really have to put i personally just put about the same about for all colors so once you do that and we have it filled in as i just said we're going to take our liquid lipstick and what we're going to do is simply just apply it and once we apply it, you could just go ahead and dab your lip to blend it out. Or you could even take the liquid lipstick and apply it on the rest of the lip as mentioned earlier. I personally like to just dab it out. And then after I dab it out, I like to take my finger and just blend it in to the brown. This is personally my favorite way of applying the liquid lipstick. This works for lipsticks as well. I'm just more of a liquid lipstick person, so I keep saying liquid lipstick. So once you do that, you're gonna have a perfect nude lip. No matter what color it is, it's gonna look amazing on your skin. And I give you my word for that because whenever I wear any lipstick, nude lipsticks, whatever it may be, people always ask me, how do you rock every color? How do you do this? And that is how I do it. That's like my kind of like secret, always using a brown lip liner. But you guys don't even always need to use a lip liner or go out of your way to go get a lip liner. A really great tip I have and something I really love even doing often is just using a brown liquid lipstick. That works so perfect one that i love using is limbo by colourpop super affordable and literally just apply it exactly the same way i would apply the lip liner and because it is a dark brown it will still work as a lip liner in terms of framing your lips so just a hack use a lip good lipstick instead of the lip liner if you feel like you don't like lip liners or if you don't want to go out and buy one this is going to be a great great option the last and final thing which honestly is the most important thing in terms of rocking a nude lipstick and actually in terms of rocking like anything is confidence you guys probably already guessed i was going to say that but being confident in whatever you have on is honestly going to sell it you have to feel confident no matter what you're wearing i could be wearing silver like this and talking to you guys and as long as i feel beautiful in it a lot of people might think that i look good in it as well so it's really important for you to believe that what you're wearing looks good and everyone else will to be honest it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks but i'm saying that's how other people perceive it in the way that's like wow how does that look so good on you it's because you have to believe it so confidence is key no matter what you wear and i give you guys my word on that so those are kind of my four tips for you guys exfoliate your lips color correct a lip liner a brown lip liner you guys could definitely use different colors as well brown is just like my go to no matter what so brown lip liner and confidence confidence is key it matters so so much and now that we did that i'm just going to show you guys a couple of lip options again if you want to see kind of like my 
current like nude lipstick favorites i am gonna link the video down below so you can check it out so i am gonna be showing you guys three nudes that i love which are nude nudes now there are darker nudes that look great on women of color but i wanted to really stick to nude nudes that are kind of harder to rock for a majority of women so the first one i have been loving and the one i also showed in the demo earlier is smashbox slay tan this color is amazing oh my god every time i wear it people ask me what i'm wearing on my lips it is my go to lip color next is what i have under this gloss another one of my favorite nudes and this is kylie a brown sugar this color is another beautiful nude what applied the way i spoke about in this video it will look beautiful on anyone's skin tone and finally is like a really really light nude but i want to show this as an option too just to show how light you can really wear it and still look bomb and this is starfish by anastasia beverly hills as you can see it's super light but with the method i showed you guys it's gonna look so bomb and this is kind of like a cool tone nude so i love it Okay guys, so that is my four tips on how to rock any nude lipstick. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, this does apply to kind of lipsticks in general, but just because I wanted to focus on nude lipsticks just because I get asked that all of the time. So saying that, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to click that thumbs up button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!